what stands before you today in a new awareness, we're in a new awareness of who you are, is what can be claimed, is what can be claimed, what you must allow, what you must allow or agree to, or agree to, to realize the self in a higher way, to realize the self in a higher way, the attitudes you've held, the attitudes you've held about who and what you were, about who and what you were, will be passing in time, will be passing in time with the ideas that they instilled in you, but the ideas that they instilled in you about who and what you could be, about who and what you could be through limitation, through limitation must be eradicated, must be eradicated. We say eradicated intentionally. We say eradicated intentionally when you have the imprint of something in the energetic field. When you have the imprint of something in the energetic field, it will seek to reclaim itself. It will seek to reclaim itself through co-resonance, through co-resonance. How do you eradicate what was? How do you eradicate what was? Only the idea, only the idea, only the idea of the imprinting only the idea of the imprinting what you held in fear what you held in fear what you claimed in fear what you claimed in fear and how you bowed to separation and how you bowed to separation as its own god as its own god these things are tainted these things are tainted and must be cleared and must be cleared for the higher self for the higher self or monad expressing as you or monad expressing as you to demonstrate in fullness to demonstrate in fullness. Now the validity of this teaching will be known by you. Now the validity of this teaching will be known by you in two different ways, in two different ways. When you stop thinking as you did, when you stop thinking as you did, because what you once thought has been gone, because what you once thought has been gone, nothing to be anchored to, nothing to be anchored to, nothing to move co-resonance with, nothing to move into co-resonance with, and the experience, and the experience of how you operate, of how you are operate in a different realm, in a different realm. What this means really simply, what this means really simply is that what you're claiming to you is that what you are claiming to you does not hold a basis as once did, does not hold a basis as it once did. The great challenge for all of you the great challenge for all of you, we must understand this for you, and we must understand this for you, or intend to teach you as we can, or intend to teach you as we can, so you may understand this, so that you may understand this, is the idea of memory, is that the idea of memory, all those things you've known, all those things you've known through the lens of separation, through the lens of separation, inhabit the field, inhabit the field, and your collective agreement to them, and you are in collective agreement to them. Now, this is highly useful in most ways. Now, this is highly useful useful in most ways. It's good to know what a car is so you can get one drive one. It is good to know what a car is so you can get in one and drive. It is good to know what a road is. It is good to know what a road is so you don't drive off the cliff so that you don't drive off the cliff. But the common field also holds the detritus. But the common field also holds the detritus of past judgment, of past judgment informed by fear, informed by fear. And even the road that you travel, and even the road that you travel, or the car that you think you should have, or the car that you think you should have or are protected are actually tainted by the ideas of others, by the ideas of others claimed in separation, claimed in separation, to move beyond the old imprinting. To move beyond the old imprinting is in fact reclamation, is in fact reclamation, and the innocent self, and the innocent self, or the divine as who and what you are, or the divine as who, as who and what you are, and what you are, unfettered, unfettered, unblemished, unblemished, will seek reconciliation, will seek reconciliation with every aspect of your life, with every aspect of your life. Understand what those words mean? Understand what those words mean, every aspect of your life, every aspect of your life. This means nothing is left behind. This means nothing is left behind. Your ideas of self and others, your ideas of self and others, your ideas of what God can be, your ideas of what God can be, or perhaps has been, or perhaps has been, your idea of wealth or poverty, your idea of wealth or poverty, love or lack of love, love or lack of love, reclaimed in a higher reality, reclaimed in a higher reality, untainted by the old manifestations, untainted by by the old manifestations that were utilized by you, that were utilized by you as a basis for learning, as a basis for learning. Now the learning you want to go, <coughs> now the learning that you undergo in the lower template, in the lower template is highly useful, is highly useful. You chose to embody, you chose to embody, take a form, take a form, have experiences here, have experiences here for the furtherance of the soul's comprehension, for the furtherance of the soul's comprehension of what has always been, of what it has always been, and the recalibration we take you through here. 
And the recalibration we take you through here, the manifestation of the divine, the manifestation of the divine form and field. Form and field does not take away your lessons, does not take away your lessons if the soul demands attention. If the soul demands attention to something that's claimed, to something that it has claimed, you will find the opportunity to demonstrate it. You will find the opportunity to demonstrate it and learn through it as you can, and then learn through it as you can, but in the upper room. But in the upper room, as you release the need to anchor to fear, as you release the need to anchor to fear through your idea of memory, what can be, through your idea of memory or what can be, how these lessons arrive, how these lessons arrive are somewhat different, are somewhat different. In other words, in other words, you may learn to be a safe driver. You may learn to be a safe driver without crashing the car, without crashing the car. You may learn the validity of truth. You may learn the validity of truth without being caught in a lie, without being caught in a lie. You may understand love. You may understand love less through rejection, less through rejection than through acceptance, than through acceptance and the furtherance of love and the furtherance of love, which expresses beyond a solo expectation, which expresses beyond a solo expectation towards the universal one, towards a universal one. What does that mean, he asks. What does that mean, he asks. Well, in your case, Paul, well, in your case, Paul, the idea of love, the idea of love is still being learned, is still being learned in a comprehensive way, in a comprehensive way. And while the individual seeks love, and while the individual seeks love or claims love or claims love or experiences the idea of love or experiences the idea of love, you and most others, you and most others are still operating in the realm of the singular, are still operating in the realm of the singular and not the whole and not the whole to move to the monad expression to move to the monad and expression is to extend love is to extend love beyond any personality structure beyond any personality structure to all you encounter to all you encounter that includes the ones you don't see again and that includes the ones you never want to see again now the validity of this teaching must be experiential now the validity of this teaching must be experiential while we use language to impart wisdom while we use language to impart wisdom the true teaching is the energy the true teaching is the energy which is encoded through language which is encoded through language that is true that you are participatory to each instruction we offer through paul each instruction we offer through paul actually is coded actually is coded in a higher relationship in a higher relationship to the true self to the true self so that you may claim it so that you may claim it and align with it and align with it so you're working with us so you are working with us well beyond the intellect here, well beyond the intellect here and the marriage that occurs and the marriage that occurs with the true self, with the true self and the experience of the old self and the experience of the old self, an alchemical wedding, if you wish, an alchemical wedding, if you wish, is indeed the result of the teaching, is indeed the result of the teaching. Some of you wish this to be what it is not. Some of you wish this to be what it is not, what it is not. You imagine yourself the priestess. You imagine yourself the priestess in the high temple, in the high temple being the oracle for the town being the oracle for the town they may pay their arms they may pay their arms you may get to wear white robe you may get to wear white robe and when it is done and when it is done you may count the dividends of the day you may count the dividends of the day in fact to become the true self and to, in fact to become the true self is simply to be is simply to be an expression an expression of the higher field of the higher field which knows itself in love which knows itself in love as the party of love and is party to love and all that it encounters in all that it encounters, it's not a business you accrue, it is not a business you accrue, it is how you be, it is how you be, and the presence that you bring to this being, and the presence that you bring to this being is what rearticulates the manifest world, is what rearticulates the manifest world. We'll return to the idea of innocence for a moment. We'll return to the idea of innocence for a moment, the one who is in innocence. The one who is in innocence is not deciding what things should be or look like, is not deciding what things should be or look like. She is not seeking an equation. She is not seeking an equation for personal benefit, for personal benefit. He's not seeking to become the wise man. He is not seeking to become the wise man. The monad is wise. The monad 
had as wise or an induction into wisdom or an induction into wisdom is actually accurate is actually accurate but true wisdom is accrued experientially but true wisdom is accrued experientially and we offer you the experience as we can and we offer you the experience that we can as we as we can so we know yourselves anew so that you may know yourselves anew when you are in a reclamation of innocence when you are in a reclamation of innocence you're releasing ideas you are releasing ideas first and foremost first and foremost that you have claimed that you have claimed in a participatory nature in a participatory nature to the collective field to the collective field what it means to be a good or a bad man what it means to be a good or a bad man a beautiful woman a beautiful woman a wealthy man a wealthy man whatever these imprints have been whatever these imprints have been and while they may be useful in some ways and while they may be useful in some ways stop becoming operative stop becoming operative as they have been as they have been the usefulness of them the usefulness of them as monikers, as monikers, emblemizations, emblemizations of what can or should be, of what can or should be are released fully, are released fully, and then you have what is, and then you have what is, what you have may be wealth, what you have may be wealth, it may be beauty, it may be beauty, but your comprehension of these things, but your comprehension of these things is drastically altered, is drastically altered because the nature of your presence and being, because the nature of your presence and being is not resting upon them, is not resting upon them for the dividends that might give you, for the dividends that they might give you. Most of you are still seeking a God. Most of you are still seeking a God that's what you think of, that is going to give you what you think you should have, and that is the small self. And that is the small self in its dictatorship, in its dictatorship, telling God what it's supposed to know. The claim we offered you yesterday, the claim we offered you yesterday, you are known, 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 you are known invites agreement, it invites agreement to the true self, to the true self as expressed, as expressed and known and known. And if you disbelieve, and if you disbelieve that the true self doesn't have an awareness, doesn't have an awareness of what your true needs are, of what your true needs are. You would be fooling yourselves. You would be fooling yourselves. The true self works in consort with the soul. The true self works in consort with the soul, and the soul has mandates, and the soul has mandates. But as the monad is illumining each aspect of you, but as the monad is illumining each aspect of you, the soul itself is claimed. The soul itself is claimed. You are full of light. You are full of light. You are the expression of God. You are the expression of God, as can will be known in form, as can and will be known in form. And you forsake the old, and you forsake the old, the old mandates the old mandates, the old directives, the old directives, the old judgments of self or others, the old judgments of self or others that would preclude this light from shining as you, that would preclude this light from shining as you, underline as, underline as, the light shines as you, the light shines as you, all that hinders this expression, all that hinders this expression is actually released, is actually released as the individual can manifest the change, as the individual can manifest the change. How does that occur, he asks. How does that occur, he asks. Well, prior we spoke of imprinting. Well, prior we spoke of imprinting. Imagine a fingerprint. Imagine a fingerprint on a sheet of glass, on a sheet of glass, when the dirty fingers, when the dirty fingers smear the image on the glass, smear the image on the glass, you operate in distortion, you operate in distortion. All of humanity has done so, and all of humanity has done so, even if it has tried otherwise. Even if it has tried otherwise, you have done the best perhaps you could. You have done the best perhaps you could, but you've also deeply invested in separation. But you have also deeply invested in separation, getting there first, having the most, being who you should be, being who you should be in order to be seen this way, in order to be seen in a certain way. And these acts of, and these acts that are deliberate in most cases, in most cases, eschew the divine, eschew the divine or the express principle of the monad or the express principle of the monad that does not operate in lack, that does not operate in lack. You may repeat this if you wish and say this aloud. You may repeat this if you wish aloud. Aloud. The monad does not operate in lack. The monad does not operate in lack. The Christ principle, the Christ principle, the unification of self and the divine, the unification of self and divine, which it offers, which it offers, does not operate in lack, does not 
not operate in lack because there is no lack in source because there is no lack in source and the monad knows itself as of source and the monad knows itself as of source and even more importantly is known by source and even more importantly is known by source as of itself as of itself so the recalibration that occurs so the recalibration that occurs, which is the velocity of the energetic field, which is the velocity of the energetic field and the template that you have held, and the template that you have held in agreement to others, in agreement to others, is actually lifted in an altered way, is actually lifted in an altered way. Now the alterations that you undergo, now the alterations you undergo are actually systemic, are actually systemic. There is always a process. There is always a process as you releases ideas, as an individual releases ideas. If Today for one moment, if today for one moment you would be without fear fully, you would you would be were to be without fear fully, you would grow confused. You would grow confused. You have used fear as a barometer. You have used fear as a barometer, a way of knowing the self is safe, a way of knowing the self is safe, a way of acting on principles, perhaps a way of acting on principles, perhaps. If you were not frightened of being arrested, if you were not frightened of being arrested, what crime might you commit? What crime might you commit? So you use fear. So you use fear in certain ways, in certain ways to mandate behavior, to mandate behavior. You can also move to a level of vibration. You can also move to a level of vibration where the act of committing crime, where the act of committing the crime is simply not there, is simply not there because it has no place in the field, because it has no place in the field. You don't require fear and you don't require fear to corral you, to corral you, to be the others, to be the others, with the others, with the others, in a common agreement, in a common an agreement to how things should be, to how things should be in the deliberate act. In the deliberate act of releasing fear, of releasing fear, I am worth through all that I see before me. I am worth through all that I see before, before me, which claims all things beyond fear, which claims all things beyond fear. You release the self. You release the self from an environment, from an environment that would mandate what should be, that would mandate what should be through the imprint or taint of fear, through the imprint or taint of fear. Now, the taint of fear can be understood in a different way. Now, the taint of fear can be understood in a different way. Paul is seeing a clean glass of water. Paul is seeing a clean glass of water that is suddenly infused, that is suddenly infused with a dark pattern, with a dark pattern, a cloudy liquid, a cloudy liquid informing the light, informing the light that was the glass, that was the glass. When the glass releases the old, when the glass releases the old, the water is restored, the water is restored or purified or purify the great challenge for all of you. The great challenge for all of you is you're used to the cloudy and you expect it, is you are used to the cloudy and you expect it. The entirety of reality, the entirety of your reality, in fact, in fact, is clouded by a belief in separation, by a belief in separation that is an equivalency that is in equivalency a product of fear a product of fear there is no lack in god there is no lack in god and there is no separation in god either and there is no separation god either except you created except you created or make it as real as you can or make it as real as you can the shadow of separation the shadow of separation or the culmination of the lift section or the culmination of the belief in separation is what you experience is what you experience but there are octaves expression but there are octaves of expression simultaneous ones you know yourself through simultaneous to the ones you know yourselves through which operate without that which operate without that. So we will say, yes, you have separation. We will say, yes, you have separation, but it is not real, but it is not real. Just as the manifest world that you see, just as the manifest world that you see is not real, is not real, but completely real, but completely real at the octave or level of resonance, at the octave or level of resonance that you have aligned to, that you have aligned to. You may play the note C. You may play the note C in any octave into infinity, in any octave, Octave into infinity would still be the note. It would still be the note, but you would not know it, but you would not know it. The cataclysms that you expect. The cataclysms that you expect, and some of you wish for on this plane, and some of you wish for on this plane, or actually the culmination 
are actually the culmination of the belief in separation will not be continued so that it may not be continued but as we have said but as we have said you may learn a lesson by crashing a car you may learn a lesson by crashing a car or learning to drive other ways or learning to drive in other ways the responsibility you have individually the responsibility you have individually is not to agree to the fear is not to agree to the fear not to condone the fear not to condone the fear not to make others wrong for what they fear not to make others wrong for what they fear which is also your act of fear which is also your act of fear but the realization of the monad but the realization of the monad or the christ principle or the christ principle or the source of all things or the source of all things where it has been denied where it has been denied if each one of you would take one moment each day if each one of you were to take one moment each day and make this simple claim and make this simple claim i am worthy through all that i see before me i am word through all that i see before me word i am word word i am word you would claim the kingdom you would claim the kingdom or a new imprinting or a new imprinting upon what has been held in shadow upon what has been held in shadow understand that the word understand that the word is the energy, is the energy of the creator in action it is an active verb it is an active verb the word is action the word is action it is not contemplation it is not contemplation there is a place for that as well there is a place for that as well and to contemplate the word and to contemplate the word is something to contemplate the divine principle is to simply contemplate the divine principle that may be activated as and through all things that can be activated as and through all things in the beginning was the word in the beginning was the word the one note sung the one note song that is in presence in all things that is in presence in all things but always active but always active the word is not static the word is not static none of you are static none of you are static you're always in vibration you are always in vibration at varying levels of tone and agreement and agreement when we teach through paul when we teach through paul we understand his requirements for growth we understand his requirements for growth and as he has been moving through things and has he has been moving through things and accompanied by the word and accompanied by the word the changes the changes he has experienced have been significant but he still bows to fear but he still bows to fear as if it is a teacher as if it is a teacher you cannot use fear as a teacher you cannot use fear as a teacher at a certain level of induction at a certain level of induction without becoming reliant upon it without becoming reliant upon it as a strategy as a strategy you know, the strategy of fear. and the moment you strategize through fear you are manipulating energy you are manipulating energy in the lower realm in the lower realm and when you do this and when you do this you are operating in the lower realm you are operating in the low realm and a conductor for it and a conductor for it to be a conductor for the lower realm to be a conductor for the lower realm is simply to affirm fear is simply to affirm fear support its creation support its creation all the excuses one might have and all of the excuses one might have to enact upon it now we will give you this information now we will give you this information but listen very carefully to what we say but listen very carefully to what we say while the action of fear is a claim more fear while the action of fear is to claim more fear fear is actually fairly ignorant fear is actually fairly ignorant it is not wise it is not wise it does not lift of its own accord it does not lift of its own accord because it simply cannot it does not know how because it simply cannot it does not know how it operates in darkness it operates in darkness seeking to preclude the light seeking to preclude the light because that is all it has known because that is all it has known to bring the light to darkness to bring the light to darkness is not to enable darkness is not to enable darkness but claim the energy but it is to claim the energy which finally we have to say is still source energy that has been debilitated that has been debilitated or lowered in echo or lowered in echo to the higher realm to the higher realm imagine that glass of water again imagine that glass of water again to filter that water to filter that water to clear the water or to clear the water claims all things new claims
makes all things new. There is no place to throw the dirty water out. It must be transmuted. It must be transmuted or made new. The same is true with your creations. The same is true with your creations. You can stop enabling a pattern. You can stop enabling a pattern, whatever it may be, whatever it may be, your need to accrue debt, your need to accrue debt, to act in agreement to others' fear, to act in agreement to others' fear, to play games with your fellows, to play games with your fellows that are harmful to them, that are harmful to them. But as you enact these things, but as you enact these things, you contribute to the very structure, you continue, you continue to support their very structure when you release the need to do these things. When you release the need to do these things, you disable them to a point. You disable them to a point. You can imagine starving if you wish. You can imagine starving them if you wish, but the imprint of the behavior is still present is still present in the energetic field. The thumbprint on the glass we spoke of earlier, the thumbprint on the glass that we spoke of earlier to transmute these things. To transmute these things is actually to know truth, is actually to know truth, because in truth, a lie will not be held at the level of the monad. And at the level of the monad, these things cannot express or exist. These things cannot express or exist, at least in their current forms, at least in their current forms. When you wash the window, when you wash the window, you are simply liberating the old things. You are simply liberating the old things that have claimed itself there, that have claimed itself there, and the freedom that is present. And the freedom that is present is amazing to each of you, is amazing to each of you. The moment you, it, the moment you begin to experience it, we spoke of memory prior, we must speak to this again. We spoke of memory prior, and we must speak to this again. The habituated behaviors, the habituated behaviors of an individual of an individual or collective are known in memory, are known in memory, and as all memory you've held on this plane, and as all memory you have held on this plane has been induced through separation, has been induced through separation, non intentionally not intentionally, but as all you've known, but because it's all you have known, you must disable in some ways, you must disable in some ways the mechanism that memory utilizes, the memory that me the memory, the mechanism that memory utilizes to recreate the old, to recreate the old. How does this happen? He asks. How does this happen? He asked. This is the teaching of the day. This is the teaching of the day, the recreation of memory. The recreation of memory does not mean something didn't happen, does not mean something didn't happen, or that it wasn't painful, or that it wasn't painful, or you would never wish to experience it again, or you would never wish to experience it again. It actually claims each thing. It actually claims each thing beyond the lens or taint of separation, beyond the lens or taint of separation. You may understand them so that you may understand them without self-identifying as them, without self-identifying as them. In other words, indeed it happened. In other words, indeed it happened, but it is not who you are, but it is not who you are because it never was, because it never was, not who others are, well. and it is not who others are as well, because it never could be, because it never could be. The realization of body memory the realization of the divine in memory is simply a recalibration, is simply a recalibration of what the imprinting has been, of what the imprinting has been in a tainted state, in a tainted state. It does not deny what happened. It does not deny what happened, nor does it whitewash what happened, nor does it whitewash what happened, but it claims a clarity, but it claims a clarity that is deeply liberating, that is deeply liberating. Paul imagines himself Paul imagines himself swimming in crystal clear water, swimming in crystal clear water. The experience is very different. The experience is very different than swimming in murky water, than swimming in murky water where you can't see what's in front of you, where you can't see what's in front of you, what would entangle you in the deep, or what would entangle you in the deep when you're in the clear water. When you're in the clear water, you're acting in a liberated state. You are acting in a liberated state. You are seeing what is. You are seeing what is not informed by the ideas of old, not informed by the ideas of old, the codifications of old, the codifications of old and the agreements that have been, and the agreements that have been to maintain a status quo, to maintain a status quo that is dominated by fear, that is dominated by fear. And yes, we said that intentionally. And yes, we said that intentionally. Look at any situation in life right now. Look at any situation in your life right now, be it the marriage, 
be it the marriage, the well-being of your child, the well-being of your child, the employment you have, the employment you have, the housing you have, the housing you have, the age you have come to, the age you have come to, and ask what area of this life is without fear, and ask what area of this life is without fear. Will I live to be old? Will I live to be old? Will my child always be well? Will my child always be well, or always be infirm, or always be infirm? Is my job secure? Is my job secure? Will my spouse stay my spouse? Will my spouse stay my spouse? Will my home stay my home? Will my home stay my home? And the informed fear and the informed fear in all these agreements and all of these agreements taints or colors your very relationship. While Paul is happy these days, well, Paul is happy these days as he understands happy. As he understands happy, he still operates with the worry. He still operates with the worry of what could be, which is actually predominant, which is actually predominant for many of you. The idea of what could be, the idea of what could be that would not be what you wish, that would not be what you wish. And this is claimed historically, and this is claimed historically, culturally by many people, by many people through religious upbringing, through religious upbringing, through what has happened in past lives, through what has happened in past lives, or perhaps the current one, or perhaps the current one. How is this manifested, he says? How is this manifested, he says? It is simply very put. It is simply very put. The denial of the divine, all of these fears, all of these fears are the, are the denial of the divine. That does not mean you're not prudent. That does not mean you are not prudent. That you don't take care of your child. That you don't take care of your child. That you don't pay your mortgage. That you don't take. That you don't pay your mortgage. You don't honor your That you don't honor the relationships with your spouse. It really matters. It really matters the intent behind these actions. The intent behind these actions. You can do all these things without fear informing them. You can do all of these things without fear informing them. We'll say you will, and we will say you will because you are moving to a level of vibration. Because you are moving to a level of vibration where liberation occurs, where liberation occurs, and even memory, and even memory, maybe read out on the upper, may be renode in the upper room. Now, when we take through these attunements, now, when we take you through these attunements, we have to claim you each. We have to claim you each in an energetic field where this becomes a possibility, where this becomes a possibility for the new students, especially. For the new students, especially, we will not take you too far. We will not take you too far, lest you become confused, lest you become confused. To reclaim memory in the high octave, to reclaim memory in the high octave does not mean you don't remember. Does not mean you don't remember where you live, nor does it mean you suddenly remember. Nor does it mean you suddenly remember that amazing past life, that amazing amazing past life where you're the oracle at Delphi, where you were the oracle at Delphi, and you get to wear those robes again, and then you get to wear those robes again. It does mean, it does mean you know who you are, you know who you are without the idea of who you were, without the idea of who you were or should have been, or should have been through memory, through memory contaminating the experience, contaminating the, experience, the immediate experience. He interrupts the teaching. He interrupts the teaching. Well, it's helpful for me to know that I shouldn't drink. Well, it's helpful for me to know that I shouldn't drink because I don't want to do what I did, because I don't want to do what I did when I was a youth, when I was a youth. Nor will you because that is not what is being moved. Nor will you because that is not what is being moved. The memory of the challenge, the memory of the challenge may still be present, may still be present, but how you relate to the self, but how you relate to the self or how you blame the self or how you blame the self or how you consider others or how you consider others through this lens, through this lens may be altered greatly, may be altered greatly. Some of you are still blaming yourselves. Some of you are still blaming yourselves. What happened when you were 10 for what happened when you were 10 or why the first marriage failed or why the first marriage failed or why your child had so much challenge or why your child had so much challenge. Some of you are still angry at the body. Some of you are still angry at the body for an illness, for an illness or a situation or a situation where the body was harmed, where the body was harmed, or you're angry at others, or you are angry at others, or confused about why, or confused about why in the reclamation of memory. 
in the reclamation of memory, the confusion about why is released, the confusion about why is released because you are being moved to something other, because you are being moved to something other. What is, what is, and what only is in this present moment, and what only is in this present moment. All things may coexist. Well, all things may coexist within your idea of time, within your idea of time, the present moment, the present moment, the only moment things are made, is the only moment where things are made new, no longer drag your history to you. And when you are no longer dragging your history to you, drinking it like a bad alcoholic beverage, drinking it like a bad alcoholic beverage, getting drunk on your ideas of what was, and getting drunk on your ideas of what was, you are free of what was, you are free of what was as it has disabled you, as it has disabled you. None of you finally we discovered. None of you finally we discovered will fully know the kingdom. Will fully know the kingdom when you're perpetuating a shadow memory, when you are perpetuating a shadow memory, when even your idea of God, when even your idea of God or what God can be or what God can be is clouded by the interference, is clouded by the interference of an idea of God, of an idea of God that was imprinted in the that was imprinted in the energetic field when we're tonight. So when we work with you tonight on the release of the old, on the release of the old, we are working singularly. We are working singularly and collectively and collectively with memory, with memory in a reinterpreted state, in a reinterpreted state. We are clearing the fingerprints from the window pane. We are clearing the, the fingerprints from the window pane, leaving the glass, releasing the glass from the taint, from the taint that it has held, that it has held, and allowing the new to be present, and allowing the new to be present, so may rely upon it, so that you may rely upon it and not yesterday's bad news and not yesterday's bad news which anticipates tomorrow's which anticipates tomorrow's again understand friends again understand friend the personality structure the personality structure claims history claims history because all is known because it is all it has known it knows itself through history it knows itself through history and then chooses again and again what is known and then chooses again and again what it has known this is why you have all warred this is why you have all warred all the futility of war although the futility of war has been shown to you for thousands of years for thousands of years we will say these words now on your behalf we will say these words now on your behalf. While we know who you are in truth, while we know who you are in truth, we comprehend the challenge that most of you will face, that most of you will face in the face of this teaching, in the face of this teaching. So when we sing this note, so when we sing this note, we're actually disarming the energy field. We are actually disarming the energetic field at a level of vibration. At a level of vibration, it will become porous to the truth. So it will become porous to the truth that is being induced here, that is being induced here. You are still in charge, yes. You are still in charge, yes. Your free will is active as it always has been. Your free will is as active as it fully, as it always has, but you must understand. But what you must understand is we're releasing the need is that we are releasing the need for a level of density, for a level of density that would preclude this atonement, that would preclude this atonement from full force, from full force or full agreement or full agreement. So as we sing these notes, so as we sing these notes in success, we are doing so to claim a field. We are doing so to claim a field that you may all align to, that you may all align to on the count of one, Paul, on the count of one, Paul, now two, now two, now three, now three. Ah, ah.
On this night I choose to allow all memory, all knowing that has been held in separation, that has been held in separation, be recalibrated, to be recalibrated or renown or renowned in the vibration of truth, in the vibration of truth. As I say these words, as I say these words, I give allowance, I give allowance to the manifestation, to the manifestation of these attunements, of these attunements, as I may hold them in safety, as I may hold them in safety and peace, in safety and in peace. I know, truth. I know who I am in truth. I know what I am in truth. I know how I serve in truth. I am free, I am free, I am free. I am in the upper room. Behold, I make all things new. I am word through my memory. Word, I am word. I am word through all memory. Word, I am word. I know who I am, what I am, what I am how I serve. God is, God is, God is. God is. God is. God is. God is. Be received by each of us. Now be received by each of us. If you have a if you feel the shift in the energetic field or the cold energy or the cold energy, you're releasing memory, you are releasing memory, which has been operating, which has been operating through separation, through separation, all the separations, all the separations what is, is what is releasing the memory itself. The memory itself may be made new, may be made new in a clarified state. In a clarified state, you are releasing from the energy field. You are releasing from the energetic field, the imprinting of history, the imprinting of history that you have utilized, that you have utilized to negotiate a common field at the exclusion of money, at the exclusion of the divine. We sing your songs for you. We sing your songs for you so that you may learn the words. And as we say these words to each of you, we say what is always true. You are known. You are known. You are known. Blessings to each of you. This will continue for some minutes and beyond and beyond. Let the energy field move as it wishes. Let the energy field move as it wishes. Don't seek to contain was. Don't seek to contain what was. If you feel the cold vibration around you, if you feel the cold vibration around you, you are simply releasing. You are simply releasing what's not required for your benefit. What is no longer required for your benefit. Blessings to each of you. Blessings to each of you. Take five minutes, please. Take five minutes, please. If you wish to remain where you are, that might be wise. That might be wise, period, period, period. Stop now, please. <laughs> 